What an amazing trip we've had so far in Europe. We are headed back to Amsterdam after a couple of weeks uh, just to, you know, enjoying Europe. We uh, started in Amsterdam, spent a few days there, uh, drove through Germany, did the Autobahn. Now we uh, were in Denmark visiting family and stuff for a few weeks. Um, it seems like a few weeks. I guess it was only 14 days or so. But uh, anyway, we're headed back to Amsterdam and this is gonna be a long road trip. Our first road trip from Amsterdam to Denmark was the longest road trip we had ever done in a Tesla. Ironically, um, a rental Tesla. So let's take a look at the route plan and uh, we'll go from there. So this is the plan that uh, the route planner has chosen for us. I think we're gonna stick to it for the most part. Um, we've gotta get the car back by 6 p.m. over here at the UFO Drive. Uh, we are going to be leaving around 7.15, so about an hour from now. Um, that gets us there around four, that gives us a, a buffer. It took us about 12 hours to get here. However, we ran into several issues that I don't think we're gonna have heading back down, one of which is we had no euros to go to the bathroom. <laughs> so we had to search around for bathrooms a couple of times. Also, the uh, there was a bridge under construction in Hamburg, Hamburg um, and that's only the way going up, not on the way back. Also, there was a uh, checkpoint heading into Denmark uh, and there's no checkpoint going back into Germany. So some of those things are gonna be factors. It's still a long ride. It's um, it's going to be about nine hours, and these are the three stops. Roderco, Rodecro, Denmark is our first stop, uh, arriving at 29%. Uh, Raid, I'm sure that's not how you say it, uh, Germany at 17%, uh, and N Emsburen, Germany, arriving at 14%, 25-minute stop. So about half-hour stops. An hour and a half of this is going to be uh, just uh, supercharging, but... We've got a family, we're gonna need these stops. Uh, I have a feeling the car is still gonna be ready or waiting for us anyway. And then we'll arrive at 19% uh, back in Amsterdam. So that's the plan. We will see how it goes. Hopefully better than the way up. I mean, man, 12 hours of, of driving. Our longest trip to date had been uh, Lake Tahoe back to Los Angeles. It was a 10 hour trip and it didn't seem very long. But anyway, that's the plan and we'll keep you updated along the way as we drive from Denmark back down to Amsterdam. First supercharger stop of this leg of our trip back to Amsterdam and it's at Rodecro. Or how do you say it? Rodane. What is it called? Sure. Look at the big art piece. Um, there they are, but we're not allowed to go in there. So I guess we have to go in up here and then go through the smelly gas station. That's gross. And there are the superchargers right there. Dun, dun, dun. And these are sharing. This is our first stop at a 150 kilowatt. And so I'm gonna park here on the end if I can get, navigate this van thing. Um, now turn right onto Clement Oh, these are the old six ones. Where are the others? I think they're down a little further. There's more? Somewhere, you wanna go look for them? Well, we don't really have time for looking around for stuff. You can still walk down there. And There's a down. Y across the street at McDonald's. So what do you think? How many stalls are here? This is six, the old part of it. And I'm in, not in a spot, right? Because it's not that side. <laughs> I'm not a noob. I'm just new here in Europe. All right. Now we're in a spot to charge. I knew it looked weird. All right, let's get out, plug in. All right, we're at Reduct Row. First stop of this leg of the trip. Uh, we are on broken. 3A, it's broken. You sure that's the right one? Well, let's try it anyway. Wow, the attitude. If it doesn't work, we'll move along. Are we in? We are blue. I heard a click. Let's go in and see if it fails. Starting to charge. Oh, it did it. Clicking. 
stuff happening. Nine, Nine kilowatts. It yeah. is ramping up now. There we are. We are well over a hundred. I think we're gonna get max speeds. And we're slowing down to 145 kilowatts. We are at 33% state of charge, which is 172 kilometers, which Just is fine. 25 minutes to continue. And 25 minutes to continue on our trip. We are heading onto the Autobahn next, so um, we're gonna probably do a little pad just to make sure. So it has us here at uh, making Raid Germany with negative 24%. So yeah, we're gonna be here a little bit to charge. No big deal. We've got a McDonald's, of course, in Europe, by the way. Um, be prepared to eat a lot of McDonald's on road trips. They are literally at every supercharger stop on this trip. And so uh, we just gotta get used to eating McDonald's, I guess. They are just everywhere. So uh, that's what we're looking at. And uh, we're gonna get out and relax and head to McDonald's because that's what you do in Europe. We just discovered that uh, Redecro, Denmark, is uh, a split installation. And these are the uh, set of chargers that we didn't know about. We saw the ones coming in uh, directly where we're uh, charging. I'll show you in a second. But uh, what do we got here? Two, four, six, eight, ten over here. And how many over there? Six. We got six over where we're charging. Any difference in speed? No, I think they're all 150. These were added in 2019, and the other six were in, added in 2014. Okay, so it is a 16 stall, but they're in uh, different locations. So if you're you're as confused as we were trying to figure out where these things were, um, they're behind the bushes on the other side of the shell, and uh, they are here. And the nav has it listed as one yeah. red pin. So if you don't know these are here, you're probably wondering why it would say, you know, 14 available and there's only six stalls over there. So now you know, we're here to help in Rodecro, Denmark, double split installation. Here's a nice Model Y to close us out. Here's of course the uh, McDonald's at every supercharger stop. Literally and, on this trip. Yeah. And so there's that. And then there is our um, charging situation over there. We are the first one that you see there, the gray Model Y. And we're not sharing, so that's how the split is. There's one set there, and then there's one set behind these bushes there. So uh, when you're coming off the highway there, you see those right away and go, oh, hey, let's charge here. And not realizing there's some more right there. Just letting you know, Redecro, Denmark. A split. A unique situation. It should be better marked on the nav, in my opinion. All right, we need to get back to Amsterdam by 6 p.m., so we are kind of uh, listening to the nav today. We're at 43 kilowatts. Uh, it says enough to charge to continue on our trip, and uh, we're going to tend to believe it. 83% state of charge when we leave, um, and 433 kilometers. Let's go ahead and unplug. Number... 90. 90 on our list of different superchargers that we have visited. The button doesn't work, you have to. All right, I'll go inside and turn it off. Old school. There we go. Unlock charge port too. Oh, I got it. All right, good job. Number 90 in the books. And we didn't share the entire time, which made it really fast. We only tapered down to 43 kilowatts there at the end. So, uh, very, very cool stop. Of course, we had some McDonald's, and we are on our way to Germany. Autobahn up next. Now we got a traffic jam leaving here, but we are leaving Redecro, Redecro, Denmark, or, cool. yep, that. What's H? And uh, we are headed out on our way to Raid, Germany. So that means we are going to be hitting the Autobahn next. That'll be a separate video. Uh, Autobahn 2, look for that. We'll have some of it here on the channel as well. Um, we're in it, entering a roundabout. She didn't say anything though. Well, because you're talking over her. I don't think Second she knows that. Exit. Second exit. Mm -hmm. Here comes a Tesla. Are they going to turn in? Mm, yes. Yeah. So they're probably going to charge. They were Swedish. There's one. one. And then this one is the entrance right here. Or okay. Road. Is this correct? Mm -hmm. All right. Back on the road on a slip road. That's what they call uh, on ramps here.
on to Germany and the Autobahn and fast speeds and more fun here on the channel. We are uh, about a kilometer away from the, uh, the border of Germany. We are in Denmark still where there are speed limits and we're about to enter the land of no speed limits. In fact, I think there's the sign, right? Yeah, one kilometer. Um, so, and it's, it's dramatic. It's like the second you get into Germany, you are autobahning and really, really fast. That's a new verb we've made up here on the channel. I was going to say, is that a new verb? Something's happening up here, slowing down. Oh, here's the border where we had to wait forever. Mm -hmm. And it's still a big wait. So we're just going to fly into Germany, no problem, they don't care. <laughs> Apparently not. Uh, Amsterdam is what I was thinking of. So, uh, are those chargers right there? I think they are. Yeah, and that's you the first... You mentioned that last time. Right there on the border, pretty cool. And that's the first rest stop in Germany. We're in Germany. We, we are now in Germany and we have traffic. So, so much for the dramatic uptick in speeds, but uh, I'm sure we'll have more to come. We're in, in Germany most of the day for this trip, so uh, we're gonna be doing some, some faster speeds. All right, speeds have opened up. We've got the uh, no speed limit sign cross hashtag circle thing on the dash, and uh, we are getting up to speed here on the German Autobahn. Up to 138 kph, 140. Um, those are not really high speeds or anything, but uh, I just had a minivan cut me off anyway, so I gotta slow down. I had somebody comment from Germany um, excited to see us trying the Autobahn and knowing some of the rules at least. Um, but uh, they said that you really should be camping out in the far right, right lane. Not in this instance, there's only two lanes, but um, when we were driving up to Denmark, the trucks were basically taking over that right lane. So we kind of camped out in the middle lane and it's kind of the same situation here. It's a two lane, the trucks are in the right lane. So we kind of have to hang out here if we want to go at any speed. Uh, in the left lane. We are rolling up on Raid Germany Supercharger. There they are off to the right. Well, turn right off to Lots Pittsburgh. of X's. What's going on there? Wow. So this is a very busy area. I can't see the light here in Germany. Red. It's red. How do you know? Oh, there it is. Yeah. Um, of course, a McDonald's on the property. I see an ID4 parked near the McDonald's. Gas station. Actually, it might be an ID3. Yeah, I think it's an ID3. Um, so we're going to roll up. This is a 150, so we're probably going to share. I saw two next to each other open, but that doesn't mean they're not. That is correct. Oh, oh green. All right, here we go. Let's see if we find one. Yeah, it's an ID3. Yeah, it's smaller. I love those, by the way. Those are so cool. Now your destination is How? on the right. This way. I don't think so. We have to come in this way. I think so, and turn around. Yeah because all the arrows were pointing against me. So we have to go through the gas station again, which is really weird, and then go to the supercharger. There we go. Which one, dude? Which one? Well, they're all sharing, I think. Then do this one in the middle there. 2A, I don't know what that one is, I'm gonna... That's one, I think. So yeah, we have to share with either this X or the other X. All right. So X or X. So we're gonna anger somebody. There's so many X's. Yeah, well, it's it's all X's and a three, right? One of them's Norwegian. Two of them are Norwegian. From more. Whoa, big rollback. All right, here we go. Oh, bump. Um, there's a bistro so you can eat. A bistro? So it says restaurant bistro. All right, we're in raid. All right, here we go. Supercharging in raid. Let's plug her in. Looking good. Nice. Let's go check it out. We good? Red, blue. Blue. Ready to charge. I heard clicking. Clicking is happening, I'm told. We're at 31% state of charge, 161 kilometers on the battery, and um, it's taking a little bit to get going here. It clicked. And here we go. Four kilowatts, five, going up. There we go. 
This is probably an early estimation, but it says 35 minutes uh, remaining. We are sharing. So we're gonna. So we're gonna top out at 72. There it is. is. Which, which is what it should be. <laughs> yep. It literally hard stopped at 72. So we are sharing, unfortunately. Um, but that's the deal here. So 35 minutes remaining to continue on our trip here at Raid. I think you know what. I call us crazy, but I think we're gonna have some McDonald's. <laughs> All right, we are unplugging from Raid. And what was special about it? I don't know. Uh, the 150 handles. Oh yeah, they're easier to slide in than the 250 ones here. That's weird. Do I need to yeah. do this? Also unlock charge port. Got it. All right. So apparently the 150 handles are easier to get in and out of the port. Don't know why. But that is the case. We got to get on our way. Something very weird is going on with the nav. It is um, not. It is not uh, handling the supercharger stops as part of the estimate. So pretty, pretty weird. Usually it should do that. So I'm not sure if that's a glitch or what. But we got to get going here. Yeah. All right, we are on our way, leaving raid, and I canceled. So now we got to redo that. Um, it says estimated charge time five minutes at raid, but up oh, now it's. So on a road trip to uh, Amsterdam from Viborg, Denmark, we discovered something that we as Tesla owners haven't uh, come across before. And I think it's because uh, our road trips in California, we kind of know where we're going. We know the supercharger locations. We. We don't rely on the nav to take us from point A to point B and everything in between. Um, in this case, we are having to get this rental car back by 6 p.m. So we are in a time situation um, to get from Denmark to Amsterdam. And for the first time, we've discovered something that you may already know this, but we haven't uh, seen this before. The Tesla does not account for the time that you spend supercharging, even though it knows the time that you're going to be there say it's you know 35 minutes to reach your destination um, but it doesn't include that in the overall calculation of of arrival to your your ultimate destination and that has thrown us for a loop here because we thought we've been checking for days on end how long is it going to take um to get there say at you know 9 a.m 8 a.m whatever um You'll have to excuse me, I'm on the Autobahn doing 130. Uh, probably not the smartest move. But um, so when you nav from point A to, to the point B, the full destination and everything, make sure you realize that those supercharger times are not factored into the end time. It's very bizarre. I, I, they know the time. They know how long we have to charge. Why can't they just add that to the code? It's weird. Unless it's a bug we've discovered, uh, and it's not always been that way, but like I said, when we go on road trips, say Mammoth, we do that a lot. If you're new to the channel, we've got a lot of Mammoth road trips. What we do is supercharger hops. We know the layout. We know how long things take. Oh my gosh, here's a BMW on my left whizzing by. So cool. Um, we know the legs. We know exactly how long it takes to do stuff, so we don't go from LA to Mammoth and just blindly follow the nav so we have never discovered this problem up until now and we've never been on a time crunch you know we get there when we get there it's not really a big deal so in this case where we've got the rental return we're, we're discovering this and comment down below if you've known about this or this is new information for you as well we basically get out in upwards of an hour and a half to two hours to our drive Right, which we had factored in as being included in that whole timing until we finished up at the first supercharger and realized, oh my gosh, we're barely going to make it. I think we're still going to make it, but it's um, we are really flying on the Autobahn at, at points to try to make up some time and stuff. Um, so there you go. Uh, just another tip right here. All right, we are on the Autobahn. We've got a nice clear lane. It doesn't really happen unless you get it on video. 162. Let's try 163. 
All right, that is the fastest I've ever gone on the Autobahn, and now it's on video as proof. Back to you. The second time was definitely better for two reasons. I got some inside tips and notes from uh, someone down in the comments on our channel, and the other reason I was more awake. The first time, we're still getting over jet lag and tired, and um, it was just a different experience. And you know, it was new. It, we didn't. Here we go. This is the Netherlands. I'm guessing this green thing yeah. is probably the border, or at least this area. There's some people right over us. I guess. There it is. Netherland. We are in the Netherlands, and now we have a much slower speed limit. In fact, there's a cop right there waiting as we drop down to 100 kilometers per hour. On the other side. Yeah, but boy, they were waiting. I'm not sure why they're waiting on that side. There's a Tesla. See, look at the toucan. Is it the same brand hotel? That's what I saw on the other one in Deventer. I had a toucan up on top. Weird. I see the chargers. They're over in the corner. This is Hengelo, uh, Netherlands. We think. Well, no, that's what it says on the on the nav. Anyway, this is the now same the kind destination of destination is on the left. Hotel that we uh, stayed or uh, charged at in Deventer. So I'm expecting a really nice bathroom. It's empty. But there they are. We've got it to ourselves. There's a Mach-E right there. Mm -hmm. Sweet. So which one should we choose? I don't know. Look at all... that. Any supercharger we want. And they're kind of at an angle or no? No. No, they're, they're not. not. All right. And there's one out of order, right? No, don't pick that one. Let me, let me guess. We, we're going to pick the one that's out of order. We'll see. All right, back it in, and we will be charging. Last supercharger stop of our trip as we uh, go return our UFO drive rental Tesla. All by ourselves here. All right, Hengelo, Netherlands. Last supercharger of our European trip. Plug her in. Good? Okay, don't kill it. I think we're good. Yeah, a little Netherlands dance. Very cool. Take a look at this. Uh, I'm seeing green. green. You tell them what we got. 190, oh, we're at 200. Nice. 202 is where it peaks. Yeah, we have 13 minutes. 202, 13 minutes, and we will be on our way. Hengelo, sweet. Okay, we've got enough uh, to continue on our trip. Our final leg of the journey, 89 kilowatts is what we're uh, kind of camped out at here. We added uh, 30 kilowatt hours and uh, 35 minutes to 95%, but that's where the battery is set up. So to go back to UFO drive, we currently have 24% uh, in the can not a problem at all so we're going to unplug and take off all right let's do it do i need to do it from the car like always or do you got it hey it worked this time 250s are better 250s are better with the button got it all right sweet let's head back to amsterdam
we are back where it all started. The uh, garage. Wow, that is a big curb. Crazy curb. Um, where we got our UFO drive uh, car. Think down. UF, I thought, Enterprise. Yeah, I think you're right too, but why not? isn't it labeled? There it is, it's right there. Okay, cool. So we are back with our car. We're um, in one piece after driving the streets of Amsterdam with bikes everywhere. Hey, folks. Um, now your destination is on the left. We don't... I don't know if we need a ticket thing or not. Nope, it just let us through. It, it, yeah, it knows that it's a UFO drive car. Oh, there's a bumper or a curb right there. That would have sucked. Oh, here's the roundabout that we um, talked about in episode one, or part one of this uh, trip. All right, so we're all the way down now. This is crazy busy compared to when we were here. I mean, this parking lot was empty. I don't know if I'm going the right way or not. You just go straight, I remember. No, I know, but... All right, we're gonna give you the stats here in a second. Uh, everything there is to know about this trip uh, on the nav screen. Where is you? H, oh, we got a while to go. Um, Tesla's everywhere in this garage, by the way. I don't think they're all UFO drive. Check this one out. Does it say UFO drive on the plate? Mm, no, no, it says Tesla. All right, here are the complete stats for the trip. Um, I know it says to Denmark, but I never changed anything. So this is literally from this parking spot to this parking spot. <laughs> and everything that we did on this trip uh, was 2,064 kilometers, 360 kilowatt hours, which by the way, I'm gonna do some math at some point. They gave us free charging for this entire trip. That's gotta add up. And 174 watt hours per kilometer. So. Um, those are your trip stats, literally parking lot, parking spot to parking spot. Um, uh, not a bad trip, actually. So uh, there you go. Those are the stats. We got our one night room for uh, our stay before we train back to uh, Shipold Airport tomorrow morning early on. We had to do a one night stay uh, at an Ibis hotel. Uh, room is really nice. I mean, it's very modern, very cool. Bunk beds for the kids, world's smallest TV there. Um, Pretty big bed here, which is cool. But check out our view, guys. This is train station adjacent if there ever was. Look at this train station. Literally, the track is right outside our room. Now, when we walked in, the train was here, and when it left, we did not hear it. I mean, this actually is kind of cool. I don't know. But we're literally at Amsterdam Central train station, like, six feet from the track and um, the room is awesome and hopefully we'll get some sleep tonight with these trains right outside but they did promise a soundproof room and this glass is pretty thick it's pretty thick you know what i think now is a better ending to uh to our video thank you so much for watching uh our two-part european adventure tesla road trip when we uh, uh uh, rented a Tesla Model Y. I mean, so cool. We were tired in the garage. We were so wiped out in the garage. So anyway, like, subscribe, hit the bell. We will see you on the next video. And thank you so much as always for watching our channel.